And the tropics are still active, folks. We have Tropical Storm Nate right now over Honduras. It's not a very strong storm at this point, but it's dumping a tremendous amount of rain, flooding rains, in fact. And it's going to be a fast mover, so even though it's very far from us now, it will not take very long to get here. This is Saturday afternoon already in the central Gulf of Mexico. Probably its best chance for intensification will be over the Gulf. Right now we're forecasting a Category 1 hurricane with peak winds around 80 or 85. Making landfall Sunday morning, most likely the eastern half of Louisiana, perhaps western Mississippi. Sometime between about 5 and 9 a.m., then rocketing northeastward from there, moving very quickly. This track places most of central Alabama on what we call the dirty side of the storm, which increases the likelihood of some pretty strong tropical storm force wind gusts, as well as the likelihood of a few spin-off tornadoes. That's what we're looking for during today, Sunday and Sunday evening. Then it rockets northeastward by Monday. It's already over Beckley, West Virginia, and moving away quickly. Impacts here. Winds get gusty on Saturday with the rain moving in. Worst of the weather comes on Sunday. That's that's the highest chance of tropical storm force gusts and also the possibility of spin up tornadoes during the day Sunday. Rain chances with this? Well, let's just say we're not going to miss it. No chance tomorrow. 80% Saturday, 100% on Sunday, and still pretty high Monday and Tuesday. A lot of moisture is going to linger with this. In fact, what you're going to find, we're going to go from air that's very comfortable outside right now to extremely muggy air during the weekend into early next week. It's going to be very steamy outside. This is Saturday at 2 o'clock and already light to moderate rain overspreading much of the viewing area. That will continue and only get heavier as we get into Saturday night. So a thorough soaking coming Saturday night and Sunday. Rain that will be heavy at times. Here's the center of the storm as it gets closer to a Sunday. That's the highest chance of getting those spin up tornadoes. That would be especially, I think, Sunday midday through Sunday evening. Then by later on Sunday night, this thing's already up in the state of Tennessee. We'll have some leftover moisture on Monday, a few showers and storms with that. Rainfall potential with this over much of the area, probably one to three inches, but in this core here of red, Includes Jasper, it includes Fayette, it includes Coleman. Two to four inches could be locally a bit more than that. The only thing helping out in terms of rainfall totals is that the storm is a very fast mover, so it won't have as much time to pile up the water. If you're going out this evening, you don't have to worry about storminess. Just fine outside. 74 at 7, 68 by 10. Skies overhead essentially clear. For the big football games on Saturday, the two problems would be Auburn, where rain will probably move in, and also for UAB, showers there are likely. The Crimson Tide will have good weather in College Station, Texas. 63 tonight, mostly clear and comfortable sunshine tomorrow. Another fine day, no weather issues tomorrow. 88 for the high, seven-day forecast. The rain moves in on Saturday. It gets windy, windy, rainy, maybe stormy on Sunday. Lingering showers next week. Don't forget to download the WVTM 13 weather app. It is free. It's available for Android and iPhone. Don